Welcome for a mirror, everybody. All right, with that, we are down to our final comedian. Are you guys ready? Come on, it's what you've been waiting for all night. Let's get excited. It's your final comedian. Let me hear you. All right, keep that going for you. Uh, she's very talented. You're going to have a lot of fun with her. Josie Wamba, everybody. You be gone, keep me going now, Tell them, Give me that gun, give me that How many people, when they ride in their car, and that song come on, and you get excited, and that part that just came on, comes on, and ain't nobody in the car but you. And you look around, and he says, sometimes you gotta pop out. I bet y'all say it, don't you? Don't you? Don't you say it? When you're in your cars by yourselves, you gotta say the rest of the words. You got to. How y'all doing? What's going on right here? What happened? You are. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay you just didn't feel like sitting beside him tonight. I know that's right. How long have I been married? A year. She, they sick of each other after a year. Eight years. Okay. That's a little better. Because I'm about to say a year. God damn. Huh. Honeymoon stages ended yesterday, huh? Oh my, and, and you're just a friend. And who you? You a friend too? Well, won't you? You just... Uh, you don't like him, huh? You can tell when she don't like it. She would have sat beside you. She'd have been all on your thigh right now. I'm single. Who else in here is on a date? Hmm. Y'all must stay around the corner. Yep. That's some date night right there. Babe, let's walk around the corner having a comedy show. She's like, all right, sure. Are you on a date? Why you ain't say nothing? He's like, I don't care. <laughs> she asked me that I want to go see some funny stuff. I was like, yeah, sure. You know what? You know, Matt, you ain't have to say that. You could have just said, we're on a date. And I love her. See, that's the problem right there. He said, we're on a date? Yeah, you better say it next time. Or no head for you tonight. I'm so single, y'all. Oh my God, I'm so single that I think that the political texts that come to my phone is some guy that I gave my number to the other night. But then when I read it, it says Kamala Harris is down by the polls. I'm like, come on, man. I thought somebody was going to ask me what I'm doing tonight, what kind of underwear I got on or something. It's, it's so tough being single. It is because I, I'm a different type of girl. I like to have my own glass emergency just in case I get, you know, feeling horny. I want to just break the glass open and pull the dick out. Huh? A live one, one that wiggles. Without batteries, it's got, it's got warmth and everything to it. Yeah, I wish we could purchase those at the store. The ones that don't talk back. The ones that don't have dumb expectations. Huh? The ones who don't fall out. Whose job is it to put it back in? I'm telling you. Mm -mm -mm. But my last relationship, my last three relationships, let's get this together. I have learned to be accepting, more understanding, non-judgmental. I went to a public school. I have, should have been judgmental about all three of my relationships. I should have picked on all of them. 
My last guy sucked his thumb. No. Oh my God. Hmm? No. Where we do that at? So you're 40. Take the thumb out, put the titty in. What are we doing here? And not only did he suck his thumb, he had a shirt to drag it around. So this is us everywhere we go. No, no, no. No. <laughs> this guy did not give oral sex, y'all. Uh, How you suck your thumb and don't give oral sex? Oh yeah, because your gums are bleeding. <laughs> Non-judgmental. I've learned to be. The first one, he had five kids. Five. Count with me. No way. One. Two. Three. Don't you feel like Count Dracula after three? One. Ah, 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 ah. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Three. That's how I felt every time their birthdays came up. Christmas, special occasion, high school graduation, high school dance. She can't dance. But I'm in the audience like a supporting mother. Where's your mom? She's not here. But I'm here. Does your dad care? Nope, I'm gonna give him head after your show. That's how good of a girlfriend I was to that man with five kids. And what did I get the show for? A ring that broke last week. Mm. The guy in between, I skipped over him to go to the first one because this one's a doozy. The middle relationship, I met him at Walmart. That should tell y'all something right there. Come on, come on. We meet our best, oh, y'all met at Walmart? I seen your face. She was like, bitch, we're not Walmart. <laughs> Nothing. But I thought I was getting a man's man. You know, he worked at the automotive section. Mm -hmm. He changed my oil, not, not this oil. <laughs> he changed my oil in my car. So I was like, yeah, he's strong, he handy. Yeah, he like feet too. What do you mean that they like feet? Make some noise. They in here. They in here, I'm looking at you. <laughs> All oh, y'all, mm -hmm. I'm gonna set up a page and just post my feet. It's a thing with men, it's like dogs, dog. <laughs> when you get out the shower, dogs just lick your toes. That's how men are, yeah. He started off with me there, he was like, yeah, I got a foot fetish. He wanted to see how freaky I can be. Just let y'all know, I'm a Capricorn. Capricorns are the freakiest zodiac sign. I don't care what you think. I can match your freaky, huh? He wanted to see how freaky I was, so he started off, he was like, I want you to step in my food. What? I paraded in your food. <laughs> High knees and all, I'm stepping in it. I want to know how dedicated you are. I want to see how much you gonna eat. When he didn't finish, I was like, finish? Finish her? <laughs> Thought this was a game, it's not a game. Then he kind of sprung it on me. Talking about my ex-wife used to be a dominatrix. Hmm? How many of you know what dominatrix is? I know that's right, I know you know. <laughs> I know you know, your freaky selves, I know you know. Oh. I didn't quite know exactly everything a dominatrix did. But I know she dressed in all black and had chains and whips. I was like, all right, I can get with some of that. The other part, I had to do my research. So y'all can imagine, I really wasn't familiar. So I went home, started watching YouTube videos, turned the volume all the way down, because I seen the freaky stuff that was going on. I was like, she is going to town. You better go, girl. <laughs> Then I came back, I watched a few videos actually, I watched a few, 
and I compared them, like we all do, you know, DYIs, do-it-yourself videos. I watched them, and I went home, and I said, I'm going to turn this into my own project. I turned them into my DIY, you know. And I was like, you know, I, I broke it down to them. Like, we're not going to do the traditional dominatrix setup. No, because I'm more like a fairy. I'm soft with mine. You should have seen how I had the living room set up. Ladies, take note now. No matter what level your man is on, freaky, take note. Drop roses down. Mm -hmm. Do the same stuff that he like. Get you a long feather. Yeah, I had a feather. Mm -hmm. Say it with me, feather. 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 <laughs> you gotta say it like that, say it, feather. That's right. Cause it's gonna get real freaky between y'all tonight, tell him. <laughs> Got me a superwoman outfit, I'm in there. Phew. Coming to save the day. Really save the bootay, but you know. Mm-hmm. I'm mounting them, y'all. This is Z. Told you. Told you I saved the best one. See, you, you like that. I see your face. I see your face. I see your face. He, he trying to. He trying to act like he. <laughs> your face. <laughs> and I must admit, I look pretty good in the strap on. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I was like, I was in there playing the role. You hear me? I was in there like this. I was asking questions. Same questions that y'all be asking us. You ready for this dick? <laughs> He was a beginner. He can only take six inches. And I was like, get your weight up. I'm gonna show you how a big girl do. I take nine or better. So I went and switched it out. <laughs> the ones who ain't laughing know the pain. <laughs> good time though. I ain't going for it. That was a good time so I got my stuff in the car if anybody wants to have fun tonight. <laughs> Feeling froggy jump. <laughs> yeah. I date outside my race. I'm trying to do more of that. I said I want a white man so if there's any good looking, no high pause, good looking white man because some of y'all be aging rapidly. <laughs> 21 today, 72 tomorrow. I can't do that. I like dating white men because y'all like cultural. You guys are interested in culture. And I'm African. I don't sound it, but I can change my bedroom voice. If you need me to, I can tell you. Give me the dick, give me to me now, give it to me. I can become Wakanda for you in five minutes. Give me a second, I will go to the bathroom, I will change, I will bring my spear. <laughs> we can play games. We can play colonizer. Come colonize this. All this land, come colonize, build, 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 build. Take over. <laughs> Told you, I match a freaking out. <laughs> we can get with it. Only thing I can't get with, white guys. Only thing I can't get with. Only thing, I'm gonna say it, I gotta say it plain. Only thing I cannot get with, white guys. Is the hair on. Y'all be doing too much hair on. Coke. Sugar booker. Cause you're looking like you don't understand. White girl, powder. That right there. He just said he gonna do a line off his baby neck. Y'all laughed. I went out, I was actually, I was at a show. And this was an open mic. And this is what I love about white guys, just white people in general. Like, y'all, I mean, I love my black people, don't get me wrong, y'all, my, my black people, but white people don't give a hoot, huh? 
After the show, the man he talked to me, he was, was sexy. And he was actually part of the gentrification program out here in Southeast Raleigh. I met somebody important, I did. Mm. So he was talking to me, actually took me back to his little gentrified house over there by Shaw University, my alma mater, hello. Uh -huh. It was the hood, but he gentrified that quarter home. Oh, quarter home, slave house, for those who didn't know. Cause I see you like, what you talking about the quarter home? The house with the little, the front patio. Y'all intrigued on this story. So before I get out of here, I'm gonna just tell y'all what happened. So we went up to his house and he just started telling me everything. First of all, stop doing cocaine and inviting people into your damn houses and telling them everything. I will rob you. I'm gonna call Day Day Craig. Ray Ray, we gonna rob the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm just playing. So he, he, he wanted to impress me. He was like, I just bought a boat. He showed me the boat. The boat receipt was $20,000. I said, bitch, jump. And then he invited me outside. We got to talking. And this is where he went left. He was like, you got some nice breasts. White man loves some titties. Yes, they do. <laughs> Not supposed to be looking. Look over there. Who the husband? Whichever one is the husband. Look, you, you've been focused all night long. What your husband? Girl, you got a freaking dicky. You better do him right, too. So he told me, he said, let me do a line off your left titty. What? <laughs> Sir, they already fighting with gravity. You're not finna have my titty going numb. Okay? And another thing y'all do, stop doing that, because it's hard for me to suck your dick. And that's something that I'm very good at. But the amount of coke that y'all be on make me feel like I have to work harder. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, y'all, listen. I'm about to get up out of here. I want everybody to do me a favor before I get up out of here. If you enjoyed my comedy, pull out your phones. Follow me. My name is spelled like Jose. The Comedian, J-O-S-E-T-H-E-C-O-M-E-D-I-A-N on Instagram. Yup. That's fine. <laughs> Look behind you. Follow me, please. And if you are feeling some type of way, there are shirts that will be sold in the back. Just meet me in the back. We can do more than Shirts, I talked about it earlier. I'm single. It's gonna be a good night. No. <laughs> I think that's my time. That's my time? All right, y'all have a good night. Give it going for Josie. We gotta make this fast, man. I gotta get to the back and make a business transaction. <laughs> Josie got a fan. Uh -oh, you about to go. Come on now, let's go get it. <laughs> he said sometimes you got a white out and a choke. No, ah, sometimes you got a white out. Um, as Tyler completes his transaction, did you enjoy the show? <laughs>